Hi everyone, it's Shay, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a stairwell attic in the in a small house. So, to get started, we are just going to grab a stage panel out of storage, and this is going to be a storage placement glitch. So we're just going to grab it out of our inventory, pick it up. And then you can see it's still purple, but we're just going to force place it with the sub-command menu. You can do this from the housing menu, or you can just, on PS4, it's just a square place. Square to bring up the sub-command menu. So from here, we're going to try and decide on which furnishings we're going to float. Now keep in mind that the closer you put it to the partition, the more, uh, especially if your furnishings are tall, the more it'll clip into the slant. Of the wall and we don't want that so it might take a couple of tries of finicky placement but that's okay we're just gonna we're just gonna go right for it okay. that might be too Too close. Oh, it's a margin of difference, but that might be better. Okay. So from here, we're just going to start floating this furnishing up. And if you're unfamiliar with how to float furnishings, if you've been, you can, I have a ton of resources on my channel to help you. There will be video links in the description on how to do this glitch in particular as well as a troubleshooting guide, because I know some people are still struggling with it. And But we're just going to keep moving this on up until it's at a decent height. Almost, almost there. Actually, if we just angle the camera, we can see how close we've put it to the wall. It's actually clipping into the slant just a little bit. I don't know if you guys can tell. So we actually want to lower the bed just a little bit. Well, maybe not that much. Uh, still got a little bit of white space showing. That's okay. We'll just move the stage panel. So after you have your furnishings in the more or less precise spot you want them, don't forget to rotate your furniture to make sure they do not go anywhere. You can't just hit, don't just hit rotate then cancel. You actually do have to rotate the full thing and press place so they don't go anywhere. Okay. So from here, I'm going to switch back to not PC mode, because I'm not on PC. Haha, <laughs> who'd have thought? We're just going to remove this 
wooden loft for the time being. We're also going to remove this stage panel. We're going to go back into our storage. And you can see this is where I, p I, I put this as a measuring tool to know where I put it before. But we're just going to grab it out of storage again. And put it back a little farther. That might work. We are going to grab the wooden loft out of storage because we're done floating it. So we don't need to float it anymore. We just need to get it to stay there. We're just going to force place it. Voila! So now we're going to grab the stage panel again. We're going to put it semi-close to where? Uh, maybe like right there? Because the point is you want to have stairs leading up to it. And it might let me place finically here. Yep. This might this part might be a little bit more tricky. If I take grid snap off. Okay. So from here we're just gonna attempt to target. We're going to disable the counter placement, pick it up, cancel. We've targeted the other one. Pick it up, cancel. And we're just going to grab this stage panel and move it somewhere far out of the way. So you're probably wondering why I made the staircase so small. It's because you can still get function out of them climbing up here. But the more important thing is if you want to use your basement, you don't want to like run up and then constantly get trapped under the stairs. So I try to put it functionally close to the wall where you can still walk up it without any difficulties. And we should be able to just take a snooze. So that is how you somewhat do a basement attic. Pretty easy, right? Anyway, thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!